In many cultures, people associate certain animals with specific characteristics and use animal imagery to add color to their languages. For example, in Chinese culture, pigs are traditionally seen as clumsy animals, and dogs represent loyalty. Wolves are often associated with violence as well as cruelty, and tigers are a symbol of authority. Likewise, animal imagery can be found in many English expressions. For instance, "as quiet as a mouse" is commonly used to describe someone who is quiet. You can say, "After being caught cheating on the exam, Samuel was as quiet as a mouse in front of his angry parents." However, if people make a lot of noise, elephants would be a good choice for a simile to describe them, such as. During the sale, the customers crowded into the mall like a herd of elephants. Besides, a white elephant refers to something very expensive but useless, because a white elephant costs a fortune but is of no use, and buying one will apparently be a waste of money. Another elephant-related expression is jumbo jet. Originally, jumbo was the name of an elephant in Africa. It had been sent to the zoo in Paris. Later to the one in London before it was sold to a circus in the United States, the elephant made audiences laugh and earned a reputation for its outstanding performances. Thus, it has become common to name elephants Jumbo to express people's appreciation of the original Jumbo ever since. For most English speakers, Jumbo has come to share the meaning of the word giant. Therefore, a huge jet plane. Is called a jumbo jet. Aside from mice and elephants, birds and insects are often used in English expressions as well. Both can show their own specific traits. There are two very common expressions about birds. One is as proud as a peacock, and the other is chicken. The first one is used to describe people who are overly confident and show great pride in doing everything. When you call someone a chicken, you mean that the person is a coward and doesn't dare to do something. As for insects, bees are commonly associated with diligence in English. If a friend of yours is always working, then he or she is a busy bee, or is as busy as a bee. Additionally, many sayings that include animal imagery also make English an interesting language. The following are just a few examples. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Let sleeping dogs lie. There is a black sheep in every flock. A leopard cannot change its spots. As you have discovered, the use of animal imagery in common expressions and proverbs indeed plays a part in different languages. Without a doubt, it not only makes a language fun to learn, but also helps language learners understand more about the culture behind a language.